Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Three Stacks in this thing, representing the squad. Today, we're going over an update on my Vendrets. Uh, they're very combolicious, as Cool Cuz would say. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do now with this deck, and with uh, the new Executor, the um, the new Ritual Monster that we got, we finally got a way to like search any Vendret card, which was very important. We finally got a new Ritual spell. Uh, we we like there's so much issues that the deck had, and that new support that they made, like it solved. I think almost all of them. In fact, like there's no complaints on my end. That the new support's actually broken. And Anima, like Vendor and Anima, is legit like my new favorite card. Like it's so good. Uh, it, it's just it's stupid. So let's hop right into the main deck without further ado. I'll kind of explain things as I go along, like always. So first off, uh, starting with your blue cards, we play three Slayer. It's still the best blue card. It's it's also one of the clutch's extenders. You can link with it, turn one to make your sucker. And then Ritual Summon it back from Grave to get your draw off a Sucker and also to dump your Anima so that you can make the Slayer with both effects by abusing Anima to bring back Hound Horde and then do the Revenant. It's just, it's really good. So Slayer is a standalone card. Uh, attack boosting, protection, just awesome card. Uh, Executor, your whole board can't be targeted. It doesn't matter if a Mono Iwata is on the field. It's a continuous passive effect. So um, your whole board, except for him, cannot be targeted. So only thing that your opponent can target is him. And then they target him, and then they kill him, and then you search. Or you make him Avenger Core. He can't be targeted because Avenger Core. Now everything can't be targeted. And it's like, wow, like, <laughs> that's stupid. That's really good. And then we have Battle Lord. Uh, we know, like, we know Battle Lord wasn't what we wanted it to be. It's not a really, like, a, a shock master that lingers, but it's still a shock master on legs. And it's still. Uh, it dumps and it searches the ritual monsters so like it's still like slayer but the opposite and then chimera because um i learned the ruling of chimera chimera can negate dark hole it can negate Rageki. it can negate jackal king it absolutely can negate vortex it can negate um basically anything that you already control like if for example you attempt to activate a spell and then they play a monster or an effect that negates that spell. Unfortunately, be because it hasn't been solidified that you control the card yet because they're attempting to negate it, you can't protect it with that. But if it's already on the board and it activates its effect and they try to negate and destroy it, he'll negate that in return and destroy the card that's trying to negate. So, point is, he negates negators and he negates board wipes. And I had to learn this myself because I did not think that the card can do that and I did not know that he can. So, Vendred Chimera is actually broken. Uh, he's he's really really good and uh, one of my boys actually put me on the ruling of the card and showed me and I was like oh bro you're a real one now I know how good this card is so that's it for your blue cards Chimera is like an MVP uh, really really good and then for your Vendreds we play uh, two Revenants uh, to banish special summon monsters during either player's turn is just stupid it's like you can make a Dryden on crack and steroids and you have two Houndhorns Banishing special summon, uh, banishing spells and traps during either player's turn, and then whenever uh, like something happens to them, like if this one gets destroyed, it specials itself from grave. If this one hits the grave, um, while it's in the graveyard, you can just discard a Vendor card and special it back. So, other than giving the effect to Slayer or whatever ritual monster, they naturally they just float and bring themselves back. The new best card, Anima, stupid, stupid good. So if you read the the Vendrets, the effect that they give to the ritual monster is a hard once per turn. So you can't make a slayer that has two revenants. It's like you can't make two slayers that both have this effect and banish two special summon monsters. You can't do that. But what you can do is you can have revenants like die as many times as you possibly can. And then you can uh, banish Houndhorn like after you use his effect, bring them back, bring them to the grave, discard special. And then he gets banished, summon him from the banished zone, bring him back, and just link summon, overextend your plays with them. And uh, that's why Anima so broken, because you can use multiple Animas in the same turn. So like, what you do, you do your standard Slayer play, and you send your, your Anima from your deck to your grave, and then you banish it, and you bring back like one of these guys, like a Revenant or a Hellnord. And then you either link summon or you ritual summon. And then you resolve your, um, like, your Battle Lord, for example, and then you dump this, and then you use the second one the same turn, and then revive, like, a banish. For example, you properly ritual summon a Slayer, which properly summon. You banish it, and then you summon it back with Anima, and then have, like, Slayer Battle Lord 
plus Vampire Sucker, which is really, really good. So Anima is stupid because its effects not once per turn. That's what makes it so broken as an extender. And then, you know, it gives the uh, Ritual Summon monster the ability to banish any monsters that it destroys by battle. But we don't care about that. We just care about Special Summoning from the Banished Zone. Special Summoning from the Banished Zone is just stupid good. And then we have Vendred Core. Um, all your Vendreds cannot be targeted, basically, um, whenever you use this as a Ritual Summon material. And then also, it banishes a zombie from the grave and Special Summons itself, so it's an extender. Um, I was thinking about playing Link Karibo because of this card, um, but it's really good. And um, what you want to do... You want to make Executor, and you want to make them this way. You want to attribute Revenants, Houndhorde, and Core. He can be targeted, and during E player's turn, he's banishing monsters and spells and traps. And then all your cards can be targeted. If they get rid of him, he's just going to search. It's stupid. So that's it for your Vendreds. Now, uh, we have three Solitaires. Um, if you open up with Solitaire and Pre-Prep, you can still make a Slayer with the effect of Houndhorde. With two cards, you can do that, and then, like... You get the value off a of Slayer if he hits the Grave too, so it's really good. Two card combo, bro. Um, Unizombie, like open with Unizombie uh, pre prep, it's the same thing. Like you could just you can make the Slayer with the effect of Hellmore to banish uh, spells or traps. So like opening with these is always insane. Like they're never bad cards. And then three Mizuki is like bro, like it's a zombie deck, and Mizuki is like one of the best zombies that were ever made. He's he's stupid good. He's not even once returned. <laughs> and then it spells. We play uh, three Vendred Knights. It searches out your engine, and then like they can attack again in a row, which is really cool to like help to beat over multiple monsters. Like it's just a really good field spell. I like being able to search like Anima and Houndhorde, and then discard them to like uh, you know do an effect of Houndhorde, or even to send them from hand to grave off of a ritual spell, and then revive them back, and then tribute them from field for the second. Uh, it's really good. Two Optimus Prime to search my field spell. Three pre-preparation of rights, just to search Slayer and his ritual spell. And then three regular preps, because we like adding our ritual spells from graveyard to hand. Then we have three Allure Darkness, because everything is dark, practically except for Mizuki and Solitaire. And then we have two uh, Pot of Desires for your draw power. Now Pot of Desires is actually good in this deck, because remember before, this is the only ritual spell we played? It, it used to hurt my ball sacks to banish like one of these. like Because you only have three, and you like need all three of them. So, continuing with the spells, we play three Vendra Charge. The reason why we're playing three is because when you open up with Charge plus a Revenant or a Houndhorde, or Charge plus a Vendra that's not a Ritual, you can normal one, special the other from the deck, and give your Ritual monster two effects. Hello, my Vendra players. You know what I'm talking about. We're always trying to make the perfect Slayer. Charge makes sure that you can activate this in battle phase. You can be aggressive with it. You can hit your uh, Houndhorde, or you can hit, you know, like your Slayer. Tribute them for cost, and then special summon like a Revenants, and then get 1,800 extra damage. Or you can use it to be defensive to make sure that you don't get OTK. Like, they break your board, they're attacking, and then on the attack declaration of the biggest monster, you flip this, and then you special summon Revenants from your deck, and then they attack into Revenants, he special summons himself back, so you stop two attacks. So this is flexible. You can do more than just what it says in the card. It's just how you use it, you feel me? Uh, and then for the ritual spells, we have three origins. Uh, thank God that now we have three evolutions. Uh, my Avenger players, you know what origin does, but evolution is stupid. It's basically advanced ritual art, but it still summons from grave. So let's say this is the only card in your hand, but you have a Slayer in grave. You play this, send another copy of Slayer from your deck to your grave, and revive the other copy of Slayer that was there from your grave. So one card ritual summon, guys. One card ritual. Ritual, no other cards, make a play. One card ritual summon. Like, Herald of Perfection can't even do that. This is broken, bro. And then we have Foolish Burial, because it's like everything. Like, Foolish Burial is like probably. Probably. Oh, uh, like. I'm sorry. I'm really sleepy. It's probably like the third best spell in the deck. And then for the traps, the new trap that we got, Daybreak, is actually broken. It's like Exiton Knight. Like, you gotta be losing in a way to resolve it, but like, think of it also this way. Vendreds naturally just summon Omega and Slayer and pass. So like, you're always gonna control like two cards or one. So like, this is live even if your opponent doesn't overextend. But like, when you're playing against Altergeist, but you get to go first, and you set this, and then they set all their traps and they pass, and you flip this on their end phase, destroy all their traps, they can't multifaker you now. They should have done it if they had an infinite impermanence. That's when they would have done it. But if they don't have it, they ain't got it. They ain't got it. Uh, so this is stupid. 
Like it, it destroys all cards on the field except for the ritual monsters. So it hits back rows monsters all alike. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Like this trap's stupid. And then like if you think you're running out of it, you use Omega to put it back into your deck and then search it again and then play. It. It's it's broken. So we play two of each trap. These are the ones that I saw value in. I don't like the original Vendred Seeker Rare, and I don't like Reunion. Reunion is a little too situational, and the level has to be exact to the T. You can't be like Tribute 8 for 7. Nah, like that. It's too situational. Then Evolution, I like it because it's another combo piece. You can always discard it off of Knights or, you know, like pitch it as a Houndhorn, uh, as a Houndhorn fodder because he just discards any Vendred card to summon itself. And then you banish it, recycle your zombies, draw a card, and then Omega loop it back and just have endless resource. Or you just set it, right? You flip it, you add ritual spell from grave to hand, and then special any vidra for your grave. And then you banish it, same turn it was sent, and then recycle and then draw. That way you get the plus one off of it. So you get a plus one, and like it's just it's endless resource. It's the grind game. But this is like, this is broken. Even when you're going second, it's broken. Notice how I'm playing 50 cards in my Vendrets. They ask me why. Bro. <laughs> I got to. So starting with Lynx, Vampire Sucker. Uh, you make this turn one. What you do is you first layer you make, you link someone with him. And another. Oh, like any zombie. <laughs> oh. Even Houndhorn. Like you can just tribute Houndhorn from your hand to summon Slayer. And then use Houndhorn effect, special summon itself from Grave. Link someone with him and the Slayer. And then summon Vampire Sucker. And then summon Slayer back from the graveyard using the ritual spell that you search off of him. And then draw your card, which is really good. So you can make a better Slayer also just by making this first turn one. Like, it's, it's, it's busted. And then also, like, there's interactions where you can force your opponent to summon a certain monster that, like, could actually be bad for them. Like, it, it really could. Like, it's it's really good. It's, it's dope. Like, this card's broken. I, I like it. I did have two, but I don't know where the second one went, but this card's just awesome. Like, if I had high-level zombies, I'd be tributing my opponent's monsters just to tribute something. Like, I would be taking full advantage of this card, because I think it's better in Vendreds than it is in any other zombie deck. Uh, we play Borload, we play Griffin, we play Unicorn, Goblin, Cerberus, Phoenix. We do them all, because Vendreds go hard. Then we play the Shira Knight Synchros. The only ones that actually come up that you can make consistently are these two, and they're both dope. Then we play BLs because Shira Knight Solitaire is a one-card BLs in the matchup that BLs is auto-win, Dracos. Then we have Omega. I only have one to my name. If I had three, I'd probably play three or two. Uh, we have Scarlight because it makes Unizombie more flexible going second. We have uh, Black Rose because Unizombie can be a like literally like a two-card Black Rose. If you have Unizombie in any Vendred card, which you're always going to have Vendred cards, you play a lot of them. So basically, if you open Unizombie, you just use his effect, dump Houndhorn from your deck to your grave. Pitch, special, Unizombie's a 4, Houndhorn's a 7, Unizombie's a tuner, Synchro for 7. Blow up the field. And Baguska, Sleepy Boy, um, because like some decks are just too much. Like So what you'll do is you'll actually make your Ritual Monster, and then Baguska, turn your own Ritual Monster's effect off, Set your daybreak pass. They're like, all right, we're about to attack over Baguska with, uh, you know, decode or something. Then you're like, uh, entering battle phase. All right, on attack declaration, daybreak. Pop my Baguska, pop everything. Keep my ritual monster. His effects are back on. And now I can banish this and banish that. After I blow up, like after I board wiped you and you're very low on resources. So Baguska plus the trap is insane. And then Levier, because he's like, so dope like he's like anima except he's a body on field so you can link with him too he's just he's really good uh it's easy to make but yeah you guys that concludes my vendra deck profile i hope that you enjoyed it um coming from experience it's a really awesome deck it's actually competitively viable now you just gotta watch out for them d barriers that's probably the only thing that's gonna slow it down like d barrier and anti-spell and you can fix that issue by citing reboots because like even trap heavy decks like uh the Alter Guys, they'll have an issue dealing with, like, the properly made Slayer. And, like, it's basically any deck, even Draco's. Like, this deck is really, really good. Like, Vendrets have a lot of potential, and I see that in them, even before they got their newer support. Um, but, yeah, I love you guys. Make good choices. 
Don't hurt your brain cells. Stay tuned for future content. You will be hearing from me soon. But I got to get some sleep, bro. Like, I have to. Y'all have a wonderful day. And uh, you're going to hear from me probably tomorrow. Because I'm going to sleep all day. Peace, yo.